Hey guys, welcome back to the Pantera channel. We're back with another case B video since last time by popular demand. I have done some changes to the anchoring to the ground, to the stabilization of the actual fin wheel, making it more round because in the first video it was kind of oval. Uh, maybe changing some power settings, you know, different thrusters, more fuel, less fuel. And I've, I've done a few revisions, done some completely new things. You'll see them in the video. And meanwhile, just, you know, get relaxed, sit down. If you aren't subscribed yet, make sure you are, otherwise you might be the next uh, subject. And yeah, just enjoy the video. If you have any suggestions for a next video, any, any, you know, IDs, make sure to drop them in the comments below and I'll get right to making them. Okay, so I started off with where we left off last time with a uh, actual round wheel. And I've decided to make a more of a base around it to add some more weight because someone in the comments below suggested that I add more fuel tanks uh, at the bottom to increase the weight and some uh, launch clamps. So I added one launch clamp and yeah, I, I did the fuel canisters and I decided to make a small observation center for the gobbles as well to, you know, overview the experiments. So as you can see, I did some changes to the wheel because I need somewhere to put the rocket on. I decided to put one rocket on one side and then, you know, make the spiraling thrusters all around the construction. So we're about to test it out. I'm going to skip some of this building because it's not that interesting really. So yeah, there was a bit too much weight on one side of the spin wheel. So we needed one launch clamp uh, to make it not spin back like you see right now. And we're lacking quite a lot of thrust. These boosters don't really do it. They only have like was like 60 kilonewtons so I decided to <laughs> activate the thrusters of the actual rocket and that totally spun the thing out of balance and just it broke everything so yeah, this is my next attempt but I soon realized that the rockets were going the wrong way around all right so I spun the rockets around as you can see the ground clamp isn't really doing a lot and the wheel just got absolutely launched it's, it's going 300 meters into the air, so it has quite a bit of momentum. I'm quite curious where this will end up, uh, if it will just end up working as a wheel. Let's see. Uh, I mean, sort of. It, it It's doing something, really. I mean, maybe we can do something with this later, make like a giant, I don't know, vehicle car with this kind of concept. That'd be nice. <laughs> Okay, so after all those fills, we finally have something. That's right, we have a successful launch. Do not mind the spin wheel that absolutely destroyed itself the moment we launched, disconnected. No, we got a successful launch because we are airborne for more than 5 seconds. Don't mind the fact that we do not even have close enough to the amount of fuel that we need to get into orbit or maybe even to space. Don't mind that, just focus on the fact that we actually got airborne that's right so i'm pointing upwards more to the atmosphere to you know get more height and i'm just just gonna try and see how far we actually can get our uh, rocket so yeah as you can see we actually got quite far we are burning up a bit in the higher atmosphere but that's fine <laughs> don't mind that we don't have anywhere close to speed to actually burn up but yeah, we got we got quite far. So yeah, the only really thing is the the thing is it, the spin wheel didn't really get us that far. It we we might as well have just launched from the launch pad. That's it. So we we really gotta get more momentum into the actual rocket before we have to use our engine power. And here you can see it crash into the earth. So yeah, let's see if we can replicate that success. Alright, so new plan. Instead of making a spin wheel which has to, you know, gain a lot of uh, rotational momentum or like high speed, which tends to kind of break inside KSP, it can't really handle it well, I decided to make a trebuchet. That's right, a rocket powered trebuchet. 
in the 21st century, how crazy is that? It's fucking insane, let's be honest. But, you know, it's it makes for some amazing content. So that's what I'm doing. See, it's a, the thing is, it kind of reminded me of some sort of hammer from Overwatch, for the, the Knights guy. I have no idea who it is. I didn't play it quite often. But yeah, I made it a bit too pointy, so I cancelled that later on. But let's see if we can actually get enough thrust in a short amount of time to get this thing airborne. And of course, it's way too fucking heavy on one side, so it immediately breaks. Don't mind that. We're gonna fix that. So yeah, I decided to make it more stable by putting another rotor on it and another pillar. So it has two sides to hang off from. So you can see it kind of worked. Uh, the entire launch pad flew into the air, but it did launch it. Uh, it's a... It, I mean, so far, this is like the second test, and we are already airborne, so it's a bit more successful. We still have the issue that we're not getting enough momentum, but the best part about this design though, is that because it doesn't get a high-speed rotational uh, momentum, uh, it doesn't really sling the rocket round and round in circles, but we're gonna come back on that design maybe later. We'll see if we can actually fix some of the kinks out. But yeah, we're getting quite high into the atmosphere. We just need to get some more rocket power, more thrust or, or more fuel into this thing. Or more efficient burns. I don't know. We just have to figure out how to actually get into orbit. Yeah, so this time I tried to, you know, get the engines to output the max thrust. I thought I, I might have to wait a bit before launching it. So yeah, doing that, I completely forgot to switch the rocket. And the rocket was spinning out of control so it kind of broke anyways so here we're gonna try it with some rocket boosters i thought maybe the boosters will get us you know high enough for maybe the first is to kind of pick up the work and get us into orbit so let's see how that works out yeah it did not work out so let's just try it again without first uh the boosters i meant sorry and yeah it's, it's just <laughs> It's just so hard to get control. However, this launch is gonna go a lot better, as you will see. So we, yeah, we disconnected at the right timing. Uh, the thing is not spinning out of control. We can pull it up quite easily. It's going straight up into the air, but we're giving a bit too much thrust right now, I feel like. So I put down the throttle. And we just have to wait, yeah. So we're like at minimum output to gain, still gain altitude, but uh, burn less fuel. I don't know if it's an efficient burn. Not sure. I'm not a rocket scientist, if you haven't noticed yet, out of this bizarre and unsafe constructions. Honestly, the amount of human rights I have um, absolutely not cared for is... Uh, it's, it's quite a lot. It's quite a long list, I think. So yeah, uh, don't 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 worry about that. Oh, we're we're here to uh, we're here for the future and uh, to sacrifice a few Kerbins for the future of uh, their species is absolutely no problem. Why you ask? Well, don't ask. Just don't ask these questions. Why would you? So yeah, anyways, that was going nowhere, and I did a redesign. Something broke, don't care, we're still gonna launch. Yeah, <laughs> this, this redesign didn't really work out as I thought. But even though it didn't work out like I thought, we're gonna try it again, because why not? And there are actual people in this station right now, so, you know, there's a bit of a risk. Not for me, though. And it still didn't work out. The thing is still spinning around like crazy. And yeah, on to the next design. So yeah, this is my next design. As you can see, working absolutely magnificent. There is no weight problem, like one side being heavier than the other. It's just... Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. No one died. So yeah, I actually gave it a try to balance out the wheel and it looks wanky as fuck. Because it is. But yeah, it's actually pretty balanced, as you can see. Like, I didn't have to lock it in any way, shape, or form. Does it work well, though? Well, no, it does not. Doesn't stop me from trying another time. And here you see me using the throttle a bit more carefully. But you might have guessed it. As soon as it starts turning, the, the balance is gone. It's gone. Yeah, there we go. It's an absolute wreck fest. 
the pillars can't hold it. That's why you see these. Yeah, so we, we gave it a try, but there's no point in even trying. So yeah, this is my last attempt really with this uh, balanced rocket wheel. And yeah, well, you see how it ended up. <laughs> I mean, we did launch, but um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> we didn't we didn't really get any further into the sky. We just went horizontal, and now it's just an um, an uncontrolled ballistic missile. Which wow, it actually just saved itself from crashing into the ground. That's wonderful. I am giving it some inputs here, and um, yeah, we I I think we both know that this is just not gonna end up anywhere so yeah here I gave it another spin I thought maybe this would work out but the thing is very sloppy um, yeah it, it doesn't really work out because it's just it's gonna break any moment now which uh, yeah you see it does okay next as I know uh, this is from a scrap video ID but I gave it another try I would see if I could actually make it work a bit better and actually I was kind of surprised with the outcome because it does lift off. I knew it would lift off but the problem which I would usually get is that the rocket itself will just spin out of control as you can see right now. But I'm going to fix that in the next attempt. But here you see that it just spins out of control because for some reason the physics are not working or it's out of balance or I, I don't exactly know what's going on here. But yeah, it gets a bit wonky and um, yeah, it just stays in place and yeah, I tried to launch it but it just, it just broke everything. So yeah, this is my second try and I stabilized it with some connector rods and as you can see it's way more stable, like this can actually work. So my idea behind this was get it as high as possible into the atmosphere and have it as a launch platform for the actual rocket. Is this more efficient than a conventional rocket? No, absolutely not. Is it more fun? Yes. Yeah, so this is my third attempt at this design. And as you can see, it's working out quite well. Stabilized it a bit more. And we're going way higher up into the sky. It's slow. It's really slow. So I can maybe change something about the angle of the actual blades. But I don't want to change too much to make it uh, unstable again and all function. And, you know, an increased angle takes more engine power, more engine power needs more fuel. As you can see, we're running out of fuel and we're about to launch the actual rocket and see how far we get. So we disconnect, switch over to the rocket, are going up significantly fast. And, you know, I've got to decrease the, uh, the actual burn though. <laughs> Because we'll be burning through a few in seconds. This this engine is it has crazy output, power output. However, it burns a bit too much, and I'm relying a bit too much on it. Maybe this design would actually work with another engine. I have no idea. I'm just uh, I'm just using it because it has a crazy amount of power. So yeah, but yeah, as you can see, we didn't end up into orbit, and we're just going straight to the ground. So I went to, through two or three more redesigns, but I decided to skip those because they didn't really end up being anything interesting really, a bit more of the other things, just slight changes. But yeah, I increased the angle of the blades, I put on more rockets, more fuel, this thing is going crazy fast, <laughs> as you can see. Um, yeah, so I, I decided to put on more, um, something blew up, no idea what that was, but we'll just keep going. It's not, not my life at stake, so I'm fine with it. Anyways, yeah, more fuel, more fr uh, thrusters, uh, higher angle of blades um, to, you know, increase the, the lift because we added a extra fuel tank to the rocket itself to get it higher in space. But this thing, you know, ended up tilting a bit too far. So we didn't end up really gaining that much more altitude. I think even less than the last design. And um, yeah, it just it just wasn't efficient enough eventually. So this uh, rocket ended up, up as just like the last rocket. And I'll just skip to the finale really. So yeah, anyways, this was our last test. As you can see, the design is a bit different. And we had one of our engineers inspect the design to see, you know, from close up what could be changing. So you see him walk 
straight to the thing. Oh, don't get too close, you know, something might happen. Um, so yeah, he's just gonna gonna check out the design and see maybe if he sees some improvement for the next fun wheel, helicopter wheel, whatever you want to call it. I have no idea what I actually called it. And uh, yeah, so, uh, so he's getting a bit close to the edge though. Oh, I just don't get any close, you know, something might happen. Uh, let's hope. Oh, oh my god! 